Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. So I'll give you the English translation and then you give me the Arabic translation. There is Abdullah. I have I really have only limited, limited patience. And as you as you practice you practice denial after denial. Deny my patience, my patience is going out. Let, see you no, I'll see you again. You before you run away, you before you run, run you away, you, you need to explain it to me. You before you run away, you, you need to explain it to me, Muta, because you, we were talking about Muta, and now you are, as you are reading the English translation, you are trying to run away. Do you believe it is good? So you believe it is not good, but let's say this gentleman believes it is good. Okay? So, that's okay. So, that's okay. If you believe something is not good and if other person believes something is good, that's okay. But my question is, does Allah think it's a good thing or not? This is the thing. He can understand it this way, I can understand it this way. Where is the problem? That's not my question. Well, here it Does Allah say it is good thing or bad thing? From what I read, no. From what he read, yes. Okay, so you read the same thing. One of you come to conclusion. Allah says no to Allah says Muta is bad. And then this gentleman reads and then says Muta is good. Why do you worship Allah who cannot even communicate this is the thing that from inside you. Abdullah you Abdullah look into my eyes Abdullah okay, look oh. into my eyes <laughs> look into my eyes focus focus okay Tell judgment me. day in judgment day Abdullah. God will judge what you believe in not what what if you read something you understand it you believe it and you practice it as you believe it that's what you will be judgment on and what you believe and what you think i'm looking to your eyes so, it's hard, abdullah okay? abdullah abdullah if allah is saying one thing and people are people are putting that on in couple of different things okay your interpretation is different look into my eyes okay if allah is saying muta is good you come to the conclusion Muta is bad. This gentleman comes to conclusion Muta is good. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell me? Tell why you. do you worship in Allah, a God who cannot even communicate? Can I tell you why? Because it's, Look into my eyes. Okay. You should be honest with it. If you understand it this way, and that's it, you will be judged. In what you are, when you, you That's not my it. question. No, I'm not asking. I am not questioning your wisdom. I am asking the question. No, it's not wisdom. So, <laughs> I am Christian. Okay. One of the common thing we have is we both believe in God. Yes. Okay. Yes. You believe in God. I believe in God. Yes. I believe in a God. With his word, he holds all cosmos together. Yeah, but you have many. I thoughts. believe in but a God. Let me finish. Okay. I believe in a God. The brain cells you have. Every the living cells are created by him amazingly okay i believe in a god but the god you believe if you believe in a similar god okay who created everything every living cells everything one day is going to be under his authority that god seems to fail to communicate Basic that ABC. God, that God seems to give you chance to think and understand things in your way. That is the God I'm believing. <coughs> so, this is the thing. so we can't. We come to the understand. conclusion. No, no, Allah is very bad communicator. No, no. He, I when I tell you something, this is a chance to you, to me, to read things and understand it differently. This is the thing. We are not like machines. We so, have brain, we have heart, we have. Can you just tell me? Can you just tell me which part of this? you read where it says you pay the wages to the woman all those kind of things which part you read and then you come to the conclusion i want abdullah focus i'm speaking very serious okay which part you read and come to the conclusion allah is saying muta is bad which which sentence or which words made you to think Muta is bad. I read this the whole thing. What yeah. I understand Wait. from it okay. that marriage should be in a certain way that fully married, man provide uh, like it's 
descri describe of the marriage process. Yeah. It's, uh, there is no word I can tell you this word or this word. I read the whole thing and I understand. It's like give you the way, like you have to get married in this way and you have to choose good wife and the wife should choose. This is the thing what I understand. I don't tell you word by word. Okay. So, I am a bit confused. Okay. I don't I really don't want to be mean but you read you read the verse surah 4 verse 24 in your language okay I read it to you in English and the, and the marriage and the marriage the marriage you are proposing we according to surah 4 24 none of the his Arabic speaker we will ask him again even he wouldn't come to that conclusion. Okay, let's let's practice that. Why don't you read the, the verse for me in Arabic and Arabic? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what yeah. we are gonna do. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, new man. You. Will. I'll give you the. I no. Good I'll, luck. <laughs> can you pass that to me? Sorry, that's for my Quran. Abdullah. I'll come back. I need to fight with them again. Okay. <laughs> practice jihad. Can I have? Sorry, it's for that's for my Quran. <laughs> Uh, give me the Arabic. So, open it for Arabic. Uh, I read. I'll, I'll tell you the I'll tell you the context so you know the argument. Uh, no, I want so, to, to know it in Arabic so I understand what I'm talking about. Okay. In that case, you read it and then tell me what is the verse talking about. Surah 4, verse 24. This one. Ikra. Ikra. Can you read loud? Yeah. He's talking about women. Yeah. When when you marry them, that means you need to give them the right dowry. So can you translate it verse by verse for me? Sentence by sentence, sorry. I can follow it up as well. والمحصنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم المحصنات the women who are محصنات that mean that's your thinking face I love your thinking face I don't want to be the wrong I don't That's want fine. To, I, don't I want just to love give, your thinking base. It's absolutely fine. I don't want to give the wrong translation. So I, when I say muhsanat, that means there is something, something not normal about it. And to be honest, I don't know what muhsanat mean in this verse. Okay. So I'm not gonna give wrong explanation, and and. Uh, because uh, no no because because if I know I would say I don't know what it mean muhsanat uh, what uh, 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 what it's beyond it uh, but when he's talking about uh, marrying women maybe they are not maybe they are not uh, widow. But they are muhsanat, that means they have so, a special, a special state. state. So special that state. special state, that, just yeah, a moment, yeah. it's called your right hand possessed. No. So uh, that's, the, that's the, the captive. No, uh, because uh, he, illa ma malakat aymanukum. This exception for what you have your right possessed. This is different. The, so here he's talking about two types of women. Type that you uh, are you possessed, you yeah. are possessed but the, by your right hand, by right, by right. And another women, which is muhassanat, they are different uh, a kind of women that's why i'm i'm saying okay so you I are in the second I'm sentence not, got I'm it not sure okay they are divorced or uh, or widows okay but they are allowed to marry okay so let me let me let me just summarize so far yes, summarize. okay and two you are all married no. except those your right hand possess okay okay that's the slaves right hand possess are the slaves the declare of allah upon you and lawful to you are all others beyond this Okay, all the others, Mar married, widow, single, we don't know. Okay, all others. Let me explain it in Arabic. Yeah. I, I will give you. Katab Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote on you uh, that you are lawful for you. Uh, and 
and with your money muhassanin uh, ghayra musafihi that you are not allowed to take uh, 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 to take uh, without marriage so it's included as a marriage it is not you, unlawful it, sexual intercourse yeah, it's not unlawful because they are uh, it's lawful and marriage if you give them their dowry and their right and فما استطعتم به منو فاتوه اجورهم ذات مين if you enjoy them that you give them their their wages their wages what is the arabic word what is the arabic word اجورهن اجورهن ذات مين ذات مين their wages dowry no 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 it but doesn't say that's like wages you give it so it's arabic word doesn't say dowry okay so wages wages if you take it if you take it in context if you take it in context it says that you're not allowed to marry somebody just for free because it have right and it have you need to give her her right you have because, to pay them because 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 later on it says later on it says if you didn't if you didn't sleep with them you have you have you don't need to take back your dowry which you give to them that mean only and when you sleep so, with them am i right to say am i right to say that dowry is the money which gives you access for the sorry for the language gives you access to woman's vagina yes. uh, the way the, the, the way you the, the way you put in, the, the way the way the way you put in it is degrading for women because if god want people just to have sex and just stay and walk away it wouldn't be be uh, god talk about it as marriage as misak galiz Misak and Galizam between is a rough contract in front of Almighty God between men and women. And anyone would do what you're saying and how you interrupting it. I can go and marry as many as like and for just a short time I can sleep with so many women and this has become, become, I'm at whores. Okay. This is yeah. the way yeah. it is. I agree, I yeah. agree with you. you. Agree. Something this is something we agree with you. Yeah. And an okay, amazing thing is yeah. Allah, the most merciful, the creator of universes, yeah. agree with us as well. <laughs> That's what he says. So let's let's continue. Yeah. Let's continue. Okay, so I'll, I'll pick up from where you left. And lawful to you are behind doors that you seek them. Sorry. What is that? Slavery. Uh, in here it is translated. In here, in here it is translated. It is translated as the, your right hand possess. According to the translation, it is identified as the slaves. So, and lawful to you are behind doors that you seek them with your property desiring chastity not only so far whatever you enjoy from them give them their due wages this is number 25 isn't it 24 24 we haven't finished yet okay no no let me let yeah yeah please and there is so follow with me and there is no blame upon you for what you mutually agree beyond the obligation indeed allah is knowing and wise so yeah. i'll it's summarize what i understand and then you tell okay. me if i understood wrong so allah who created the universe who is most merciful most mighty most gracious with all of his wisdom he is knowing and wise okay he says there are married women, okay? That so don't touch the married woman, but there are slaves, your right hand possess. You can use them for your wonderful lustful desires. Okay? They are your possess possess they are in your possessions. Use them, enjoy them, blah blah. And then it says, and then and it is lawful to you, all others, all others, okay, beyond this. 
as soon as you um, agree between you regarding the wages that you need to give to them, and there is no blame upon you. You can get, say, yeah, yeah, you can say to. Um, no, don't, 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 don't. I have a woman already. I have a Christian woman and I'm happy with her. Hello, hello. Uh, just, you don't treat anybody. Just, just so, yeah, yeah, just so. Uh, I don't know. To, you to the red head, to the red head. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the, the red hair, the red hair. Yeah, yeah. So, so that is, so that is. Your people that, are wicked. Come here, come. <laughs> so come. that is, that is couple of Muslim ladies at speakers corner. Why, why don't so you if you, you don't no, it's fine. I'm, happy, I'm happy here. So <laughs> there are two. So there is a Muslim lady. Okay, you can go to the Muslim lady and then say. Oh well, you look so lovely today. Have about five pounds. Po five pounds. Okay, that's getting creepy. Have about five pounds per hour, or for ten minutes we have a marriage, and then I'll see you. Three minutes, please. I'll see you another time. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. So that's, that's the that's the Islamic law. Yeah. Wait. wait. Ah. Uh, and then if you don't touch her. Okay. Okay. You get you the money back. Yeah. yeah, you get the money back okay. because. That money was okay, yes. for you to enter her vagina. Ah. I'm not gonna enter her vagina. Ah, uh, but I cannot enter. I am too big for ah, her for vagina. Like, you know what? What are you on about? Ah, so you we, pay for we, G -G then. What we, is that money for? I don't. I, <laughs> what is I, that money? The money you give it to okay, woman the way you is say the it, money the for you to enter her vagina. If you don't ah. enter her vagina, if you don't have sex okay. with her, yeah. you get that money. Okay, ah. let, let, let me. What is chicky chicky? Let, let me. JC, what is wrong Jesse. with you? What is chicky? Oh. Okay, that's his laughing. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I bring. I brought my glasses. Yeah. Now listen. Okay, okay. Yes. Also, for <laughs> prohibited to you, yeah. is forbidden to you women already married. Yeah. Except those. So that's English whom, translation. I read it already. Yeah, yeah, but now the uh, okay. that means that is forbidden uh, uh, the. Married the married women to be uh, a lawful yeah. To, to, yeah. to you. Yeah, so that so, means that means if this man is this woman, this woman, like pretend there is a woman, okay, called Aisha, if she's married, okay, if she's married, you can't go and have sex with her. Can I okay? just uh, so, can I just we agree on that. Uh, can, can I just uh, can you let me finish? Sure. Can you let me finish? <laughs> I'm explaining now uh, the verse. Uh, it's forbidden to you yeah. those women who already married, yeah. except those who your right hand uh, hand possess. Yeah. So let's stop there. Let's not okay. understand. So you can't have sex yeah. with someone who is already married. No. But but no. you can have sex with the slaves, which you cut them from the war. Or which you already identified as your sex slave. Ah, so war that's booty, a war booty. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, it's an out. <laughs> if we if we if we talk And about you don't pay them. Ah you don't pay them. Ah, ah, you, no that's free. That's, ah, that's free for the Yeah. You want to let me finish what I'm saying or uh, yeah, we just finish go on. the conversation? Go on, go on. Oh, la, la, go on, yeah, yeah. Uh, go on, go on. When I guess Hatun, she loves me so much. That's why she says, she, I love you, Yahya. Thank you very much. Yahya, focus. Okay, focus. Yeah, yeah, focus. When, when in, in the case of war, when the war between Muslim and non Muslim, if the non Muslim took women as a spoil of war, they would treat them the same. But if a Muslim take women off a spoil of war, they have to wait three months before they sleep with them. Really? Even they are get married. Where well, does it say that? I caught that lie, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I caught the lie. Okay, okay. So when you get the woman, okay, when you get the woman from the war, you kidnap, you like, you kill their family. They are yours now, okay? Yahya says you wait for three months for you to have sex with them. Ah, three months? I would say so, if that is the case, yeah. Muhammad the walking Quran messed up Yahya when it comes to Sophia. But, but that's a different topic. Let's stick with the Surah 4 verse 24. So, you can't have sex with the married woman, but you can have sex with the slaves and you don't pay them. So now let's move to the next part. 
you just let me finish, then you can say whatever you like. No, I just want. Let, let, I just no, thought no. you would want to okay. know when you lied, though. Uh, you, you can write it down and prove me liar later on, but let me finish. Just we'll because, see. you know, I like to finish one sentence I'm doing. Okay. Just once. I'll, I'll give you one sentence. In your lifetime. Allow me what, one My minute. My lifetime is not minute, that long, by the way. <laughs> yes, go, yeah. go for it. Those <coughs> has Allah ordained provision against you, except for this, all others are lawful, provided ye seek them a marriage. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advising the believer to seek a marriage. And marriage is not in Arabic, yeah? yeah? Oh my God. Uh, you Again, you did it. With gift from your property, desire and chastity, not lust, seeing that yet derive benefit from them, giving them their dower at least as prescribed. But if after a dower is prescribed, you agree mutually to vary it, there's no blame on you. So if the contract between men and women to marry, the men have to provide a woman with dower with in front of her family. I cannot come and just take anyone I like, give her a 20 pound and go have sex according to you and then leave her alone after half an hour. Because this is a, a contract marriage and people, <laughs> contract of marriage and her family or somebody at least agent to be between witnesses ah, be about it. this marriage. Ah, okay, that's marriage. That's so, Islamic marriage. Uh, uh, no, that, that, no, no, no. Yeah. JC, don't fall into that. That's not if Islamic any, marriage. If, that is nikah, and word marriage is not even there. Ah, don't if, fall into if, those if, things. If any, if any of you JC, have not focus. the mean words in to wed free believing women, they may wed believing girls from among those whom your right hand possess and Allah has full knowledge about your faith you are you are one from another with them with the leave of their owners to give them their dower according to what to what a Mary not woman who your father married except what is past it was shameful and Abom uh, abdomination, custom, and deed, and that's that's uh, okay. So, the rest of, uh, the verse. so that's not the rest of the verse. That's the next verse. So now, what we identified is so far. There are three groups of women. In the first group of women, they are married. Don't touch them. So, are you Muslim? This Muslim man cannot approach your wife and then say let's have a sex for 10 minutes he can't do that according to Allah and that's a good thing you keep your wife to yourself that's very good thing second one is but except those your right hand possess you can approach them oh you don't need to pay them ignore the payment thing they are already yours the third group is the one I am interested in okay the one you pay the wages Okay, the one, the one, the one, because that's the Arabic about, word, that's the Arabic uh, word, I checked it, I will show it to you, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and lawful to you are behind those that you seek them with property, design, chastity, not unlawful sexual intercourse. For whatever you enjoy from them, I know as a Christian woman I shouldn't be verbalizing these things, but in here, when it says enjoying these things, it is not talking about cup when your wife makes you a cup of tea or ah, hot chocolate okay. or breakfast, yeah, yeah. it is talking about the, what happens in the bed. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Jay Z? No, he wants to like that. Oh, yeah. He wants to let like die. Focus, focus. I'm focusing. Okay. So this is, this is, when it says like enjoy from them, that is the moment or actions takes place in the bed between man and woman. Okay, just side information. And then what you do from that enjoyment you receive from them, you pay them their wages. And Allah is all wise and all knowing. So the question I was asking the gentleman who walked away, he's going to come back, he said. So we were talking about muta marriage. He said, he reads this verse, okay, 
and then he comes to conclusion this is beautiful version of this is beautiful version of merit I'm listening so do you think approaching that Muslim woman over there for five minutes and paying her 25 pounds per three minutes <laughs> Jesse, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with you? Why is every minute? She could have said that. Maybe, maybe, maybe the man who is his secret, they last only for three minutes. <laughs> like, you know, at least I need to. Okay. At least I need two hours to enjoy myself. Uh, I'm not that. Enjoy yourself. I'm not that. Ah, so I, I enjoy myself, of course. So as you pay her for three minutes, for twenty-five pounds, and then you say, okay, we divorce, and then you go and then see next Muslim woman, and then you go and do the same thing for that woman. Do you think it's something oh. you would practice or you practice? How many times have you practiced? Uh, the, by the way, the word wages. It talk about the people who work. Yeah, it that's that word has been used there. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't it, it apply. Is there. No, it, it is doesn't, there. It doesn't apply for marriage because the marriage is not a limited time, and um, that's why when I talk about I uh, you, her family to be there sorry, I just need to take my phone. Sorry. To be there as witnesses or sorry. Yeah, somebody, got it. Uh, got it. Thank you. It, it remove. Uh, the word wages and the way you put it is just uh, the interruption of an evil person and talking about three minutes to enjoy then uh, you just pay her 25 but pounds. the problem I is i didn't you. put it there allah put it there and that word used wages when someone works for you and then they you pay them their wages someone works for anyway. me like i have a dog walker okay, you i pay i pay my dog walker 10 pounds per hour okay? okay so she works for me and then i pay her her wages in here it is the same arabic word has been used she works for you you enjoy her the work she's done to you not the cup of tea part but the other part and then you pay her that's okay. the word allah used okay. it's not you, the you word i use you have you, you, you have yeah. you have another topic that to is talk about. and it is prostitution do you do you, do you, you have another topic do you want uh, to talk yeah, about yeah i love to I'm, I'm i love to this. yeah yeah you've done with this but you've done, you've done with this but i didn't come to the under And, and he is so innocent. <laughs> come closer, come closer <laughs> more. <laughs> Where are you going with your camera? He is so my, innocent. My, my nose is that big. Where are you going? <laughs> my nose is that big. He is so innocent. He don't know who, what is the halala. You, yeah, yeah you let's come to halala. Where is your feeder? Ah, give, know, give, a, give, a, give us a minute. Ah, he know. No, no, he give, a, give us a minute. Ah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. No, just a moment. Give, said, give us a minute. Said, I don't know what is the halala. Give, give us a minute. We will come to halala. So, uh, for, they, for me to move okay, to the next topic, okay, <laughs> have you practiced, Muta? How much did you pay? How, did, how was the conversation? Uh, how did you pick the woman? Give us your picking lines. Okay, let me answer. Let me answer. No, I didn't have the chance to practice muta. I didn't pay for sex pleasure. I I am somebody who feared God and wouldn't do it uh, for like this. And I I would uh, masturbate myself then approach any other women with unlawful sexual desire. Ah, so and Quran Quran teach us not to uh, to approach and enter, uh, intercourse and lawfully and that's why married is is being recommended to us if somebody even doesn't have doesn't have the bean he can just fast and this is the explanation yeah, so of the quran let, let me let me say something i'm grateful the way you are presenting yourself <laughs> but i am a bit disappointed that as you presented yourself you simply made a barbecue from Allah because Allah with, his, with all of his wisdom Allah tells you you can do so and that is lawful I am a bit confused that you thought Allah give you unlawful things uh, the camera is behind and, you. and you wouldn't do so so but but yeah, I love the camera. But, 
<laughs> as you butchered Allah, as you choose to go against Quran, that's absolutely fine. It is not something I would encourage people to do because you need to be faithful to your scripture, but your scripture messed up in this. Glad you haven't done mutar. So, now let's move to the next one. Let her, let her finish. I finished. Okay, I finished. Good, good. Let's move to the next one. What, I, what I'm saying is, all your interpretation is from, uh, from position just uh, to degrade Quran and degrade Islam. Thank you very much for uh, allowing me to defend. Thank you very much. I didn't, I didn't degrade Quran and Islam. I just read and then you simply said, actually, my moral standards are much better than Allah. That's a good thing. So now let me move to the other topic.